Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to be working on these very large steam boilers. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech and today we are working on a very large steam boiler. Both these units operate so that's not the issue. The issue is that they had an inspection from the city and the manhole covers were deemed a risk so right here we have a manhole cover and we're gonna go up there and the thing is we need to pull it off and match it up at the supply house because i cannot get any information on this and when you call the company they never get back to you but i do know a supply shop where they carry these but we need the exact piece and dimensions so what we're gonna do is Pull it out, mash it up at the shop, bring it back, and install it. Let's take a quick look. If we go up here, that's the manhole cover. At the moment, this one is operating, so we're gonna start with the one that is not operating. The engineer already came by and he turned off our emergency switch, so the unit is now off, but this thing is still a bit hot. This is steam. Once that cools down, of course, we have water. So let's see. This is our drain here. This is closed. What I want to do is drain this thing. All right. Let that drain out. I don't know if you can see it, but there's steam coming out of there. This thing is hot. Definitely don't want to work on this when it's super hot so that's the water level right here in the tank this burner just started man this thing is loud it's gonna get hot in here i'm already sweating guys this light is amazing milwaukee m12 rover so we're gonna go through here set up a ladder and a drop cloth get in there this thing is super rusted it's all breaking apart that's why i failed inspection looks like we got two nuts here might need to cut a bit of this sheet metal out and hopefully be able to pull this out it's gonna be my first time changing one of these my truck recently got broken into it and people stole a few things. My socket set is gone, so I'm gonna try to take this off with my pipe wrench. Once I mash this up at the shop, I try to get at least just the exact size for this so we can put this on neatly. Let's uh, see what happens. That's not helping. Hold that box. Super tight. It's WD-40 this for you. Yeah. See if this helps a little. Let's go together, let's see. Nice. It's uh, good now. Okay, that's good. <laughs> uh, let's leave that on for a sec. Let's leave it on for a sec. Let's get to that one. Man, sweating bullets here. This is tough. If anything, we'll put a breaker bar if we need it. Or a cheater bar. We gotta find a position where we could get this. We might need to take this one off. So we could swing around it. And hopefully that cap comes off. We might need to use a crowbar to pull it. Man, look at that bolt. That's serious. Okay. Got some leverage there? Yeah, I got this pipe right here. Uh, wait, careful with that. Uh, I will do one, two, three. Wait, one, two, three. Oh, we got it. Again, again, let's go. 
Yeah. Let's position it. All right. That's a beautiful thing. All right, we're free. More, more. More? Clean up whatever might have fell in there. That's the heat exchanger. This whole thing right away, especially this gasket. All right, Ali, man, at least it's out. Could feel the heat. All right, turn it off. The whole thing fell outside. But we're going to go take this, match it up at the shop. Two thousand years later. All right, we got new parts, but for now, let's prep this. This gasket is like stuck on here. It's really out of shape. Let's make sure we have a flat surface underneath. Everything's nice and clean, and we can begin installing. Scraping this side to make sure we have. A flat surface so the gasket can be flush. Let's get it in. You see it's shifted already. You're really gonna have to hold it good. Will you get one side on? I'm just gonna get a little tight. Hold it, hold it. Get that last bolt. Watch your finger. Get this in place, washer. And then we're just gonna have to even it out before we tighten it down. So let's balance this out. I'm just dripping sweat. We'll adjust it right there. Right there, that looks good. And then from here, we should just be able to tighten it down. That looks pretty good. Maybe adjust a little bit here. Right there, that looks good. Looking good. Installed. It's nice and tight. From here, the best thing would be is to start the unit up. Make sure we have no leaks. Everything looks nice and flush. All right, so we close the drain valve. All right now, the makeup water is engaged. We want this side glass to reach where we have that little marking. And for this one, when we close our, open our valves again, our level came down. You could see it's right here. Level should be here. So let's balance out the water levels, check for any leaks, and we're probably just gonna switch over our boilers. So tomorrow we're gonna come in and work on this one. And this one is ready to go. No violations. Right there, it's starting to come up. Here's the level we want, but really it engages right here. Level is back up. Unit started up. Actually just satisfy. This level is up. Let's go ahead and check our work. Oh, we can turn this one back on. Alright, this one turned on. Looking around. Everything's looking good right now. It's starting to get really hot up here. I'm gonna make my way out. I'll be back in the morning for the next one. Gotta change both. But right now we're looking good. Everything is satisfied here. We have no leaks. 
If we look here, it's only 15 pounds of pressure. It's a steam boiler and it's really not much. So everything's good. As far as tomorrow, got a whole nother setup here and we're gonna be replacing the manhole for this one, but it's pretty much the same process as we did here. Seems simple enough, but it's harder than it looks. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.